What's up, everybody? My name's Game Over, and welcome to the last episode of the story of uh, Sonic Riders. I cannot believe that we're at the end, but we're here, and it's gonna be awesome. Newsflash. A mysterious airborne object has just appeared above the site where the X World Grand Prix is being held. So this is after we raised Babylon. We'll try and get more details right after this important announcement. And then we skip over to Babylon, and we're not playing as Jet. We are going to be... Oh man, looks like we have company. We gonna rumble? So, they were going to start fighting. And then these guys show up. Knuckles, now's not the time to fight! And then, Smart like, baby. if you notice that red robot, Forget that was the, the robot mutt. that a Knuckles accidentally mutt. punched, and that Storm she punched. Say red mutt? Why, why you? Hey, Knuckles, wait for me! So, Tails just straight up takes them all out. <laughs> and I'm wondering, where is where was that power before? Anyway, so all of a sudden, now we have to race, uh, run away from Eggman's robots. But we were, like, right in front of the doorway in the middle of Babylon, so how on earth did all of- Where did all this come from? So right now, I have to come first. Like, I have to beat Storm, who apparently is my friend, or at least my teammate, so I don't understand why I need to beat him. This is basically just the- I think this is a remix. I don't think this is the same race as with Jet and Sonic. Yeah, it isn't, because the the grinding rail thing's not there. Uh, I'm not used to the lag, I'm used to good. Oh, there's an air thing. So I could have taken the air thing above, uh, which is really, really good. I don't understand why... Why are they in mid-air? Why can't I not get them now? Ah, oh, fudge me. I ran out of air. Go! Run! Run, wave. Run. I'm not stopping at the pit stop, because that's stupid. I'm not stopping at the pit stop. Just run. If I just run, I'll probably, like, be boss anyway. Look at me go! I'm being- Oh, no, never mind. I'll catch up to you. Knuckles is catching up to me, though. Damn it. Alright, so yeah, this is a remix of the Babylon race thing. And right now, I'm coming forth! Because for God's sake! You get, like, shot out of cannons. It's awesome. This race is cool. So that's the first lap. And then if I go this way, I can use my flying ability. So if you're, like, coming anywhere near Lost or anything like that, you basically have zero, like, health. There's no advantage to coming, uh, if you're coming like lost or anything like that, you better hope to god that they stuff each other up right at the end, otherwise you will never be able to catch up again. And that's just the long and short of it. Like, there's no if, much, if, buts, or maybes about it. You do not get a choice. So, because this is not a Mario Kart game, this is an extreme Sonic racing game. So, if you do not do the thing, you're not getting the thing. Understand? I hope you do. So, I did not, like, not show this race in the last video, just so then you could just see this one race and it would be the end of that. There's another race after this one that is, like, super awesome, because it's, like, Julio and all that sort, and all that jazz. 
So I crossed the finish line, and that's supposed to be the final race of the Babylon Rogue story. But that's not the final race in general. The last race is flippin' amazing. So here we go. The final race is coming up. Sky Road. Cool. The final race is here. Don't play games with me! I don't want your pity, nor do I need it! What? Are you crazy? If they don't want it, then let's take it. Treasure is treasure. Come on, let's get out of here! So this continues on from where we left off. Okay, let's go! Sonic's right now getting chased by Amy while we're opening up the Babylon door. The music is awesome. So yeah, Finally, something interesting. there's a roaring sound coming from the door. It's flipping amazing. So in this game, Sonic is portrayed as a person who's just seeking adventure and helps his friends out every now and then. So... Door ends up getting closed. They're like, hurry, they're like, hurry up, so then they all get in. Whoa, what's this? Ja Tails, his tails almost got sh like crushed. And then there's this guy, and you didn't expect a boss in a racing game, but there's a boss in a racing game. Greedy fools, those who seek treasure will only find. And then he just shouts at them. He just yells at them. So this game requires you to boost. This level requires you to boost because you have to boost into the Guardian's genie lamp uh, to beat him. And you have to hit him. If anybody else hits him, then he just boosts off. So, ah, and everyone's already dashing out in front of me. So, you have to boost into him. And we keep going. So now I'm finally in first. And I'm just going to do this just to make sure that nobody bosses me, because goddamn. So, basically what you need to do is... You need to get as close as you can to him, and then boost, because the boost is what deals damage to him. And I remember, like, as a child, this boss fight scared the living daylights out of me. Because it was like, a massive, bulking, genie dude. Uh, flipping came out of nowhere, and all of a sudden, now I'm fighting. Come on, speed up. Speed up. Speed up, I want to get to him before the turn. Yes, there we go. So that was the first hit that we did. And when you hit him, this happens. So yeah, it stays like this until you cross the finish line. Then the whole entire thing stops again. Which, it's a shame that this is not an actual race track, a natural track that you can race on, because this was a cool concept. And I would have loved it if this was an actual track. It might be, considering that I just unlocked a track that I do not remember playing as a kid. Uh, it could be like... Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Okay, I got my second hit on him. I got my second hit on him. Storm, you stay behind. You stay behind me and get lost. I'm gone. So I think what this was supposed to be is that when the genie appears, 
He creates the illusion of all of this around him. But then when you hit him and he goes back into his bottle, uh, it, it reveals that was just an illusion. Come on, him, before he gets to this turn! Damn it, I missed him. Wait, Storm? Yeah, no, no, no. Storm, you get back here. You get back here. No, Storm. Fudge off! It'll take me ages just to catch up with him. God damn it! It's taken me three minutes, and I still haven't beaten this thing! And it took me one just to get him down to one heart! It took a whole two minutes, and I still haven't beaten this guy! And it's just because Storm is right in front of me! What is wrong with this dude? You cannot hit him! You are not allowed to! Otherwise the game would have ended by now! Why are you still trying to kill this thing? Yes! Finally! Good God! It's over! Thank you! And just like that, the boss is over. He has no more lives, and everybody is behind me. Apart from Storm, well, yes, Storm is still behind me, but he's like very close to behind me. You know what? Screw you, Storm. Screw you, Storm. You can get hit by all of that Storm. And just like that, the story's over. There's no more story. That's it. That's done. It's all over. So this is the final cutscene of the game. Well, not really. There's a cutscene after this, but still pretty darn awesome. I'm taking my jump off. I'm sweating. I'm all hot. The expressions, they're still going. And then Eggman appears. This is by far one of the, one of the best scenes in the game. Too awestruck by the treasure to now notice me, eh? Treasure. Now hand over the treasure. What's so funny? Hand over the <clears throat> What's so funny? Right hand over the treasure right hey, now. Cat. <laughs> okay, catch. The treasure of Babylon is finally mine. Huh? What is this? Huh? A, piece what is this? A piece of cloth? It's not a cloth. It's a carpet. Let's see. This looks interesting. At long ah, I see. Uh, this looks interesting. At long last, we've completed our ultimate invention. With this, our lives will be easier without the need to work so hard to keep ourselves flying. Stolen, the 13th lead leader of the Babylon Rogues. Undoubtedly, this carpet will be in high So basically, I'll tell you about this after. Uh, what happens happens. Grand Prix for for this? I I can't believe I just wasted my time for this piece of junk. What's this? Good eyes. Didn't think you'd spot it for a second, Shorty, but you did. Hey, what are you talking about? This isn't just a piece of fabric. Right, take a look at the material. It's the same stuff used for <laughs> So yeah, this game is like... The, the expressions, for some weird reason, as the years went on, the expressions oh, just it's... disappeared from Sonic games. It's very hard to make the sure. ca character models actually show expression on their face, rather than just looking like they're a bunch of dolls being moved around by some teen in his mom's basement. But yeah, the carpet is a flying carpet. So they full on take uh, Aladdin's book. They take a page right out of Aladdin's book and just decide, let's slap in a genie as the final boss, and let's have a flying carpet as the thing you unlock at the f as the last thing in the game. It's not the last thing you unlock because you unlock. As like the hero story, you unlock a lot of stuff after you beat the Babylon story. And here is the best... I enjoy, I enjoy this cutscene. So, you're leaving this place? Yeah! The back of the carpet has more words of wisdom! It says, this was invented to allow Babylonians to travel all over the world to gather treasure! Some things never change, huh? But enough of this friendly banter, Sonic! You better make sure you're ready when we meet face to face once again. I say the Ah, 
We should split too, right? That is by far the cutest. One of the cutest scene that Tails is in. That's like the cutest version of Tails ever. And this is also the best song in the game. I'm not joking. That was the cutest scene by Tails in all the Sonic games. And this is the best song in this game. It is, I listen to this song over and over and over again, and I would gladly have it playing over every single map that I choose to race on. The character models are kind of weird in this scene, but the scene is too good that I can't You'll really be focus. Fastest for now, but I'll be back, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, in one game that is like I think three years after this, and then two years later they made a Connect game, which he came back. And then he never appeared ever again. I'll be back, Sonic the Hedgehog, for two more games and then I'll never be heard ever again. Uh, apart from Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games in Tokyo. That's the only game that I'll come back for, then I'm just a character in the background. Which is a shame, because Jet and the Babylon Rogues are, is a ver are very good characters. You, I very much like these characters, a lot, but they're such in the background because they were just for a racing game. And then they never showed up ever again. Like, you couldn't have Jet just come flying on his hoverboard and take out a bunch of Eggman's robots and help out a little bit? Like, where were the Babylon Rogues and Sonic Forces? Where was where was Blaze and Sonic Forces? Where was Cream and all that in Sonic Forces? Blaze was probably in her dimension, but Cream... I don't know. Eggman took over the whole entire world, so... So, now that we're watching the cutscenes, I have to talk about what I like about this game, which is everything. I like the character designs, I like the fact that this game had expression. Uh, the voice acting was not as good as most other Sonic games. If you want to have a Sonic game that has actually good voice acting, look at games like Sonic Unleashed. And, uh, yeah, actually, that's the only game that I can think of. Sonic Unleashed is pretty much the only uh, Sonic game that I can think of that has very good voice acting. Uh, the story kind of wasn't as great, but it was still good. Like, I still think that Sonic 06's story was, like, better than this. Uh, I enjoyed that story way more than uh, this anyway. But this is definitely, like, a close second. Uh, the story is very good, and uh, you can tell that a lot of writers actually did try their hardest with this because the, while the voice acting was not as good the uh the wording and the scripting for each character in each scene was very good i think if they got some very good voice actors for each and every one of the characters and if uh they tried to get sonic tails and knuckles to actually put a little bit more effort uh i hate talking about these things because it makes it seem like i'm bashing the voice actors but i'm not uh i love the voice actor for sonic i love i love all that uh but if they, like, if they put a little bit more into it, then maybe uh, it would have sold the scripting a little bit more. Um, but yeah, then the animations. Like, what animation team decided to... Did, what animation team did Sega decide to hire, and then when did they chuck them out the doorstep and leave them in a ditch somewhere? Because we need to find that ditch and get them back, because they are amazing. Those guys, whoever animated this for this Sonic game, we need them back because they did a very, very, very good job at uh, the character models, the uh, the expressions for each of the characters. Uh, if you look at the newer Sonic games, it like I said before, the Sonic characters uh, they control like dolls basically, uh, which is very weird. Uh, so some people are thinking, well, I heard this from Raphael Soda, but I also heard a bunch of more uh, people saying that the Sonic characters might need a little bit of a makeover and a redesign, uh, because it's very hard to make them have good enough expressions. Which I do agree in some part, but I'm scared to let them redesign these Sonic characters, because I'm scared that they'll make Sonic not look like Sonic. I'm used to him looking like this. Not to mention, I don't want Amy, Tails, Knuckles... I, I don't want any of, any of the Sonic characters to look any different than they are now. Their character designs are amazing, it's just... It's impossible to get them to show e expressions that are good. It's hard to get them to show good expressions. It's just really difficult. And then you unlock all this stuff right at the end of the game. Bike Extreme Gear has been unlocked. New Missions for Storm has been unlocked. Wave Missions have been unlocked. Digital Dimension Track is unlocked. 
Babylon Garden track's been unlocked. Eggman has been unlocked. Ending for the theater and extra mode has been unlocked. The magic carpet's been unlocked. E-Rider has been unlocked. You get so much stuff just for completing the story. And then all you have to do is just play a little bit more. And then you unlock two new characters. Two more new characters. <coughs> so yeah. I go into free race. I'll choose a random track. Uh, let's just do that. You get Eggman. He's all the way over here. Uh, and like you saw in Sonic's World, he got... He has the bike. And then if you play as anybody else, you can also get the bike. Like, you get the magic carpet, which turns any character into a flying type. Uh, then you get the bike, which is flippin' awesome, and I love it. Uh, so yeah, you unlock a bunch of stuff. And then in the, in the shop, you get more bikes. If I go back to the shop. And then the final characters to unlock are in the mission mode. Which, now, I have Wave's missions as well, but you need to be... Wave, Storm, and Jet missions, and get gold rankings on all of them, and then you unlock Ulala, um, Ai Ai from Super Monkey Ball, which is also a Sega game, Knights from Knights in the Dreams, which is also a Sega game, I haven't seen that in a very, very long time, they haven't really done anything with Knights in a while, um, you also get the, the, uh, the Chow board, which allows Sonic to turn into Super Sonic, which, sadly, does not allow him to fly through the map, through the levels, but, yeah, it's just like, it's su it's supersonic, you can't really, it's hard to be angry when you're playing a supersonic. But yes, thank you all so much for watching this video, this is the last video for the story, but I will be coming back to this at a later point when I have unlocked all the characters to play a little bit of the, like, the normal races and the survival mode and maybe I might go into the missions just to show you how annoying they are but so far that's the end that's that's the end for a while and I'm very sad that it's over but I love this game this game was the best game I had as a child one of the best games I had was a child the other one was Sonic Heroes uh, and the last game that was the best game I had as a child was Crash Bandicoot Warped um, so it was nice to experience a part of my childhood uh, that I very much missed for a very long time. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please hit that like button, and don't forget to hit subscribe if you like this uh, video, because I do a lot more videos that are like this one, and sometimes even better. Um, and please do leave a comment Leave a comment in the comment section. Eh. In the comments section. I can't speak. Um, because I read them all. I enjoy listening to your thoughts on these videos, and... If you guys have like any tips for me in this game, how to get onto uh, secret areas faster, how to unlock areas faster, or if you just want to see me jump back into this game and do something specific, please let me know because I will gladly do it. I'll I'll take any excuse to play this game again. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching. Please hope that you did enjoy, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao.